Hello, c'est moi, in my kitchen again. Okay, we're about to make lemon verbena soap and we almost had an epic fail. I did manage to save it, so uh, stay tuned and you'll see exactly what went down. Okie dokie, so, crowbars up. <laughs> crowbars up, remember that in Home Alone. Home Alone. Okay, so I'm going to pour my lye in. Working with a 40% discount on the water, something like that. Let me just pop that there. Let me just give it a quick stick blend. Okay, so that's emulsified quite nicely. So I'm going to put the fragrance in now into all of it and hope we don't have one that accelerates. Shouldn't do because it's uh, like lemon verbena normally. It's not really floral, so it's more like herbal. I've got this thickening up. Okay, I'm going to just um, work fast now, well, as fast as I can. It's going to go too thick. Okay, I'm just going to get that in the mould fast as we can because it'd be thick. <laughs> so there's a friend at the window, she can't come in because I'm filming. Try the white. Let's push the boat out. There we go. It's not as bad as I thought actually. I thought we'll be able to get this in there. Pretty good. There might just be a few streaks, maybe. Oh god, look at this. Right, I'm going to just uh, get the cocoa one. All is not lost at the moment. See, the bloody thing doesn't stick down. Stop stressing me out, Soap! Christ! Oh, Lord! Just a bit! I didn't deserve this today! When disaster strikes. Ugh. Oh god, I can't work in this mess. This is dreadful. You're all like, hurry up, hurry up. It's alright, I can see if it's going to be soap on a stick, and it's not quite soap on a stick, but it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm going to just uh, get this in. So you can see, it's like cake batter. God, that's stressful. Ooh. When I watch these back, I'm always like, look at you. Look at you, you absolute fool. <laughs> but I've had so, like, years ago, I used to have so many of these happen to me that um, it just became like, get ready, I'm gonna have to move quick, you know? But, um, I haven't had a panic on like that for it. I'm just gonna take these gloves off. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Oh, get that off. Get that down the side again. Okay, what the shit am I gonna do with that? What 
I'm all gonna do. What is the boy to do? Give me my spoon. Just gonna see if we can smooth it over a bit. Really strange texture. It'd be alright when it's uh, saponified and whatnot, but that is all. I've got a bit of soap up the arm. Okay, I'm going to grab my chamomile flowers. Because I'm not letting it beat me. We will get what we want out of this bitch, believe. Really just want the buds. Really. Just want the buds. I'll speed this bit up of the video because uh, otherwise you'll be like, yawn. Boring. Boring video. Dislike. Okay, there we go. I've uh, kind of got the chamomile on. That was a bit of a joke, really, to be honest. I'm going to just put some chamomile dust across the top. I was picking out the buds from there, and um, I've got a lot of dust, so I'm just going to dust some over the top. <laughs> okay, shall we cut this then and see what it looks like? <laughs> It really, really, really looks like ice cream on the top. Like an Italian gelato. That's what it looks like. It's actually really nice. So we're going to see what it looks like inside. Did we do a... Yeah, we did a cocoa lime. So it might be a bit more interesting than just a... boring old yellow and then a white top. And then those chamomile flowers. It might look quite nice inside. Even though it was a bit tricky to make. Caught me off guard, that one did. But I think it'll be alright when it's all done. Tied it up. I think it stayed fluid enough for me to bang it down and get the air bubbles out or air holes, if you like. If you like. But we'll sit. Let's have a look. A couple of wonky bits on the end, but that's okay. I can always salvage those. It's these moulds. I really love these moulds, but they do, um, because they're so flexible, they do create little dents in the top, which is a bit of a pain, but it's only on a couple of bars. They were so cheap, it's just like silicone moulds in the UK are really, really expensive. And to actually even find them is a bit of a nightmare. So, here's our soap. Before the cut, and then we'll have a look inside and see what we've got in there. Looks nice and uh, summery anyway, but yeah, there's a big dent in this end, so I'm just going to sort that end piece first. And put it on its side because of that, those flowers. Let me just have some coffee before I die. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just get rid of that end piece. So these first couple of bars are not going to be too great because I've got my dents in them. I might have to keep them for myself. Look, so it's created like a wonky edge, but that's okay. I, I always like to keep a bar for myself anyway. If there's like scents that I really like and this is one that I really like, then uh, I'll have the crappy bar. <laughs> and there's another one there. So I might end up with two crappy bars, but they look quite nice. So now we can start and they should be better. There you go. So tied it up actually. I think it'll be quite nice. There you go. Sorry if the lighting's a bit bright. I've got my uh, new lights on because again it's really dark in here this morning. So I did try the overhead lights again but they just they just flicker, they're no good so. You might get some different light in here this morning. God, I'm boring today. 
what was I going to say? That's it. I need you to leave in the comments your favourite YouTubers. I don't just mean soap makers. I mean like overall your favourite YouTubers. I've got loads and I watch so, so many different types of channels and so many different YouTubers that I have like my select few that I'm like, yes, when they've uploaded I get really excited and I, you know, it's great. And I thought, I'm going to ask my subscribers who their favourite channels are. So like, let me know who you watch and it, you know, it doesn't have to be soap making. In fact, preferably not soap making because I don't actually watch a great deal of soap making. I do sometimes, but um, it's rare now that I sit down and watch a soap making video because, you know, there's just a few that I like to see, but it's, I'm not really bothered. I, I watch like lots of other things. So my interests are varied. And I'm sure everybody else's are too. So even though you're here watching soap making videos, let me know who else you watch. So like your favourite beauty gurus, your favourite news channel if you do any news stuff, just general chit chat people, maybe the drama channels. Let me know who you watch and um, then I can go and check them out as well because I need to watch some new people, you know. I mean there's loads of people that are so popular on YouTube and I've never heard of half of them, you know. It's like they've got a huge YouTube following. You wouldn't know who they were because they're not like a household name, but there's lots. So my favourite beauty channels are Raw Beauty Christie, Desi Perkins, Katie Luster Lux. Um, oh God, there's so many. There's so many. Uh, Nicole Guerrero, is that her name? Like her and... Like basically any of them that talk to you like you're a real human being. Like I can't stand like the makeup channels where they talk like this and everything's like perfect and blah blah blah. I can't stand that. It's like that's not reality. Like <laughs> some of them is like I'm just going to put this on my face here and I'm just going to put this on my face here. And so it's like you're talking like a robot. Like that's not how people talk. So I like to watch people who are a bit more... Um, or less contrived then. I'll tell you when I do watch it, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure and that's Tati. Tati's probably like one of the most in, like um, influential people on YouTube or maybe not influential but the most watched and with the most subscribers. I don't find her makeup techniques very good <laughs> and I do find her a little bit contrived at times but um, she's like a guilty pleasure and I like watching her because I like her setup and I like how clean and shiny and lovely it all looks, but I do find her makeup techniques a bit crap and also her attitude to some things a bit crap. But you know, she is who she is. Makes a lot of money on YouTube, but I like to watch her. And um, who else is there? Lisa Eldridge, I love. She's the British girl. Who just she's just so classy and lovely. Mm. Who's that other one? Violet Fr, and she's like the um, is she a product developer for Estee Lauder now? I think that's what she does now. Anyway, there's her. So there's loads of loads of different people that I like to watch. I watch Jeffrey Star, James Charles. I can't really deal with. He talk, he just talks way too fast, and it's just too much. <laughs> But I do like him in some kind of weird way. So there's him, Jeffree Star. Um, there's another really beautiful lady. Who's another real classy lady. I can't remember her blooming name. I'll try to remember it for the next video. But she does beautiful makeup. And loves beautiful makeup. And she is stunning. I think she's Spanish or Italian. I can't remember what her name is. She's got this long cascading dark hair. Dark eyes. Beautiful makeup all the time. And... Like, I like watching her. I like Nadine Baggett, who's British and her skincare sort of, she knows skincare, like, inside out. And I really like her, like, the beauty hags. I really like her. So, yeah, let me know who your favourites are and then I can watch some new people this year. Okay? I'll see you for the next one. Ta-ta!